So do you want to lose fat, get strong and stay lean for good? In terms of exercise, we do this through strength training. Before we begin, hit like and if you're new here, hit subscribe and the bell to stay up to date with all things fat loss. So we're now going to integrate all the positions and movements we've learned into movements that will help us to build strength and muscle, which is what we're very interested in when on a fat loss program. So I'm going to teach you to do a perfect hollow body push-up, which is the way that gymnasts do them. Now the focus is on quality over quantity to ensure that the body is under our control at all times. Now as with our barbell movements, setup is key and paying attention to the details when setting up is usually what separates novices and more advanced trainees. So start behaving like a seasoned gym veteran and set up like this. Start on all fours, shoulders over hands, elbow pits forwards. Move into cat position, keeping shoulder directly under hands. Keep tailbone tucked. Extend one leg, extend other leg. Hold hollow body plank. Next is the lowering phase. Keep tension as if you're trying to resist going down to the floor. Shoulders go in front and fingertips as you descend. Keep body in tension. Notice my toes are pointed like this, helping to keep the quads locked. Forearms are vertical to ensure optimal pushing force. Then we have the actual push-up. Keep body in tension and tailbone down. Focus on pushing stomach and hips away from the floor, not just the chest. Keep body aligned as you push back up into hollow body position. I keep elbows in, not because this is the correct way to perform push-ups, but because this is how we do them in calisthenics, as there is special emphasis on keeping the shoulders close to the spine, as it provides a solid support for all movements. Keeping the elbows in achieves this. A push-up may be difficult to do right off the bat, so here's regression one. Find the bar and set at ribcage height, as this helps create the perpendicular angle we need. Move into a hollow body, feel all tension under your hands. Perform push-up. To make this harder, simply lower the bar and make note of your progress. Once proficient at a lower angle, we can perform a combination of movements. Here's regression two, which is a full negative to a knee push-up. Get yourself into a hollow body plank. Lower to the floor. Push knees into floor to set a new pivot. Push directly up. Reset plank. Repeat. So there's the technique for the push-ups. This is a great compound move to learn and integrate to stimulate the pushing muscles at any level. And as we know, performing compound movements is key when we're trying to lose fat as it helps prevent muscle loss and we may even be able to build muscle. Thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.